A fracture is another name for a broken bone and having osteoporosis means that bones are weaker than they should be and are more prone to breaking too easily. You would usually know if you've broken your arm or your leg or your hip or your wrist because it normally happens as a result of an injury of some sort and it'll be painful to move and the area may look a different shape. But osteoporosis can also cause weakness in spinal bones, causing one or more to squash down on themselves. These are called spinal compression fractures, and sometimes they can happen without a fall or an injury. Sometimes they don't cause any pain at all, but even if they are painful, you may not realise you've had a fracture and it may not get checked out. If you've had a spinal fracture and you didn't know, would it matter? Well, it might do. If you've had a spinal fracture, it may not stop at just the one. There's a high chance of more happening, especially within a year or two of the first one. More fractures can lead to loss of height and can make the spine curved forward. And that can lead on to chronic pain and other problems. If you notice you're losing height and you're becoming stooped forward and you're not being treated for osteoporosis, then talk it through with your GP. This may need to be investigated further. If you have had a spinal fracture, your GP will offer you a medication which will strengthen your bones and reduce the chance of further fractures. If you're already being treated for osteoporosis and you think you may have had a spinal fracture, then let your GP know. This may need to be checked and you may need a review of your bone health.